Ladies and gentlemen, the Chicago Bulls news has finally come in and we have two players to discuss today that could be potentially Chicago Bulls players for the rest of the season. Now, there's so much to go into with these two pieces of news. However, will them will they end up being permanent deals? Will they end up being Chicago Bulls players long term? We're going to discuss everything that I think about in this video right now. Let's do it. What's up, everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show. Welcome back to another video. Today, we've got a Chicago Bulls video in relation to some free agent signings the Chicago Bulls have decided to make. And whether or not these players could potentially be Chicago Bulls players long term or not will be very, very interesting to see. However, for that to happen, we have to make some moves on our current roster already. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below what do you think about the two players I'm going to speak about today if you know much about some of them because some of them I just have no I have no information about and also let me know in the comments below if you had to make some moves away to get these two players into this team if you really wanted to who would you give up obviously a lot of people have different answers and a lot of people have the same answers but without further ado let's kick things off the first player I want to talk about and this is the one that I have little to no information about is Zach Norvell from um He's from Chicago, so that makes a lot of people happy. I feel like the Bulls front office is going for homemade talent in a lot of ways. I guess to bring maybe the culture back to Chicago. Uh, I don't think we ever lost it, but at the end of the day, maybe they're bringing some players that will just work really hard for this team, which makes sense. He's an undrafted player from last year's uh, draft class. He's been... Uh, I don't, he's just been, uh, I don't know much about him. I really, really don't. So I don't know what else to say. He's from Chicago. He was undrafted. He is a player that needs to improve in training camp. Otherwise, he won't be getting an opportunity with the Chicago Bulls. Again, similar to the other player that we'll be discussing. Ultimately, this seems like a very young upcoming player that we're taking a chance on, like we are doing with Devin Dotson. Um, I hope he does well. Now, will he be a Chicago Bull coming off the bench? Uh... I'm not really sure if that's going to be the case unless we make some serious trades. He is a shooting guard. Um, I think I think he'll be wearing the number 10 according to Wikipedia, but I don't don't know about that. So yeah, that's that's the first piece of news I want to talk about. Again, I'm very sorry if I don't know much about this guy, but do let me know in the comments below what do you guys know about him? Is he a good steal for the Chicago Bulls or is he a player that will end up just being on the Back at the back end of the bench, or maybe he will be sending him to the G League, like we have with two other players. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we wait and see. The second player that I think a lot of people will know fairly more about, his name is Noah Vonley. Now, Noah Vonley has been bounced around the league for multiple years now from around six different teams in th three or four years. His averages are around 3.7 points per game and 3.7 rebounds or something like that. Also, the, uh, things to note is that um, his best years were with New York, the New York Knicks, where he averaged uh, around eight, eight points per game and seven rebounds, which is a solid, uh, solid, solid stat line for a player that was bouncing around the league and wasn't really known as as a good player or a decent starter and he would this guy was a lottery pick i believe so of course um being in the lottery pick you expect more from that cup type of player but um he's he's bounced around the league and he's just doing average numbers his averages are around three points per game however someone that some people might know that he has played for the chicago bulls before i believe it was the 2017 2018 season he came off i believe off of a trade i believe i'm not sure if we or maybe we did sign him i'm not sure but he averaged around 6.9 points per game in that year and around 7, 6.9 again rebounds, uh, which is interesting to know for the Chicago Bulls. He did start a few games for us, and I think a lot of people actually did like him on this Bulls team. So that's another player that could be very interesting coming back to the Chicago Bulls, even, if, even though he didn't really have a good stint here. Um, he just played a few games, uh, around 21 games, and went to New York. So very interesting to see if he will come back with a vengeance and maybe try to get his name back into a starting lineup or a bench or just just guaranteed place to play, to be honest, because b bouncing around the league for so many years is very, very tough for a player, and especially for a player that 
is supposed to be a lottery pick. It's not easy for him to be bouncing around from New York to Chicago to Portland and all the other teams that he's been to. It's it's tough on a player. So hopefully, if he can prove his name here with Chicago, he can get a guaranteed spot on this roster like um, Zach Norvell, and he can end up getting a chance to play for this Bulls team for the rest of the season. Now, how is this going to work? Because if you guys realize, there's no trades that have come in, and there's no waiving of players. So at the end of the day, we have 17 players on this roster. Now, of course, we're not allowed to have 17 players on this roster. We need to slim down. So here's how I think this is going to work, and I'm not sure if this has been confirmed or not, but but this is this is what makes the most sense to me these players are going to be here for the training camp for the chicago bulls which should be happening very very soon and if they if both of them impress with the training camp for the Chicago Bulls, then the Chicago Bulls are going to either waive or make trades for some players. Now, in my opinion, since Noel Vonley is a big man, a power forward slash center, it looks like Thaddeus Young will probably be the one to leave if Noel Vonley impresses. And since that, um, uh, Zach Norvell is a shooting guard. Maybe we get rid of Garrett Temple, who apparently we have not confirmed the announcement of signing, which is, I can't believe. So these are two things that, in my opinion, that could potentially happen for the Chicago Bulls, but they have to impress in training camp. And again, at the end of the day, we still have Thaddeus Young and we still have maybe the likes of Felicio that could be in danger of losing their Chicago Bulls spot on the roster. These players also need to come out and impress now. So this is what we're doing. We're fighting for competition for places, the competition for a spot on this team. This is exactly what you like if you're looking for a team that wants to work hard and challenge themselves, is to have competition, no guaranteed starting positions. And that is a good thing for the Chicago Bulls. That is a great thing for the Chicago Bulls. But hopefully these guys will be able to impress. There's nothing more I would like to have Noah Vonley back on this team and averaging 10 and 10 a night. That would be very ideal. That'd be great. But will it happen? Will he impress enough to be able to do that? Will he make us win more games than what Thaddeus Young would be able to do? These are two signings, in my opinion, that are prospect signings, are signings that are going to have to impress very, very convincingly for us to make moves on this already on this roster because these are not the players that you expected to join the Chicago Bulls. Once again, similar to the Garrett Temple um, deal. Not really a player you expected for the Chicago Bulls, but with Garrett Temple, it kind of makes sense. We need veteran leadership. These two players are very young. They they are players that maybe are not necessarily veterans. They're not. They're not veterans at all, actually. Let's be real. So they're looking for a spot on this roster. Let's see if they can get it. This is going to be a place where people need to fight to prove that they belong here. And that's all that I want to see. I want to see people prove that they belong here. I want to see people know that they belong here. I want to see people fight for their spot. Because at the end of the day, the harder you work for your spot, the better chance you're going to get it. So let's see which player works the hardest. Let's see which player is the most talented. Let's see which one of these players will end up making the roster, if any of them. And we will wait and see. Training camp, it's... It's not that far away, so we will know our answers. But again, the Bulls' off-season moves clearly are not over, and we have two prospects that could potentially be a Chicago Bull by the end of the free agency period and training camp. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Again, I'm very sorry. I apologize for not knowing much about Zach Norvell. Uh, look, at the end of the day, I, I can't say I'm the most in the know genius Chicago Bulls fan I'm not I'm just an average dude talking about talking about the Chicago Bulls and this is something that has come up over today very interesting he's a prospect and I want to know more about him so if you guys have any indication from people from Chicago maybe know a little bit more about him than I do so if you guys know anything about him I would love to know what kind of player he is is he a decent shooter is he a player that could definitely make the bench for the Chicago Bulls you know the the the, the good stuff and also I know a lot about Noah Von Lake because he has been a bull before uh, seen him play. I actually like the way that he played when he was here, but again, we were a losing team, so maybe we don't necessarily need that type of player. But if he impresses in training camp and he impresses this front office, then the front office might be forced to make moves on this roster. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. I was going to make a Devin Dotson video today. I still might. We will wait and see. Maybe tomorrow is going to be the day for that. But in case, have a wonderful day. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Take care and peace.